In this lesson, we want to explain animators. Go into the tools, then animator, which itself includes two category, rotator tool and translator tool. First, in a rotator tool, this is the main tool and the reason three example. Okay, simply with click and drag and bring main tool to the scene and give an example with this simple cube. We also need the scene manager to use this tool. There are two ways to apply this tool to the objects. In the scene manager, it is enough to click and drag a desired object as a child under the tool. Okay, and well, bring it back by clicking and dragging and release the child object from the parent. In the second way, when you click and setting on the tool there are three options here with the object link when you click in you can select the object as you can see the scene manager the software itself did the same job as before for us make a child the cube and the tool is parent If you want to separate the tool from the object, select object only and click on the object. As you can see in the scene manager. Okay, we link the object again and check its settings. When the rotator tool is given to the object, when we select it because the object is a child and the rotator is a parent, both move together. As you can see. In the play section, you can enable or disable this tool. As you can see, the object starts to rotate around the tool axis with its default settings. In the angle section, the rotation angle is 90 degrees. And this arrow also determines the rotation path. In the more section, you can specify the axis of the rotation in which direction, x, y, or z. Going back and make the angle 360 degrees. Okay. As you can see, in the animation section, you can specify the type of the rotation once. Oh, ping pong, going back and forth. And a loop. In this example, we set the mode to the loop. And the more you can set the delay when the object reach the end of the pass and start again. That we no need to delay, set it to zero. Going back in the speed, control the rotation speed. And trigger, you can specify that when we get close to the object, the tool is activated and when we move away from it, it returns to this original state. We turn it on and the more you can set the trigger zone, that is <clears throat> the area where the tool rotates when we enter it and will return, returns to its original position when we leave the, this area. You can uh, specify how large or small this area in meters. In a trigger type, you can specify what to enter the area to active this tool. This camera, as you can see, pedestrians, vehicle or bicycle, uh, or custom pass actors. As before, for example, we in uh, settings on the pass, we create a character pass. And when the character reaches this trigger area, 
the tool activated and when will these characters leave the area these tools disable okay that we described all of these paths in the previous lessons refer to them <clears throat> okay delete this path and go back to the settings of tool as mentioned before the object rotates around the axis of the rotator tool it's important when the tool is applied to the object and we want to change the location of the tool or its pivot it is not possible with the translate tool because both the tool and the object move together as you can see to do this we use this pivot edit now you can select this option and now you can select the translate tool and change the location of the tool anywhere that you want and the object rotate around the tool axis uh, pay attention that you, you when you are in a pivot edit the tool is the de uh, deactivated you have to just click the translate tool to uh, active this tool okay as we can see we can change the pivot and the pivot rotation now insert and check this type of example created by software itself for example this door as you can see <clears throat> this is the casing of the door and the rotation uh, rotate tool given to the the door in 19 degree uh, pay attention to the pivot where is the pivot in the hinges okay and other example of this and you can see the axis of the rotation tool has changed to this example going to the angle and more you can change the axis okay and another example okay delete them and delete the rotate tool okay well now let's look at the translate tool just like before this is the main tool and a three example we insert the main tool and apply it to the object all options settings and the method are like the rotated rotator tool okay again. but the instant of angle there is a distance option and you can animate the object in a different axis that you want And also you can rotate the object and the tool with the rotate tool the desired axis that you want and it no longer matters the axis and the pivot you just translate the objects the distance that you want you can insert and review these examples Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.